hi guys so this is just a quick little thing on reality tv i'm gonna talk about miss jocelyn hernandez and miss monique samuels Ugh. the jocelyn thing is gonna be super quick it's about that clip that's surfacing online um where one of the ladies a part that are, that is a part of jocelyn's show she was talking about how she had an abortion and they were twins and one of the other women is like, oh, shit, double homicide. I was like, <laughs> like, I can't believe she said that. I cannot believe they just let that shit air. Like, wow. <laughs> just completely, completely insensitive. That's done. So next is Miss Monique Samuels. So I follow this blog um, called All True Tea. Shout out to them, right? And they posted part one of Monique's binder time stories. For those who don't know, there's a, uh, there's, I mean, there's not a lot of backstory. So in season five of Real Housewives of Potomac, Monique fought Candace unjustly. She fought her with no justification and to this day, no remorse, right? So reunion comes around. She gets exposed for being a liar in part three. They, they chew her ass out. So she can handle it. She leaves the show. Mind you, it's been like a year two years since this went down every other cast member they're moving forward she is not she has been on interview after interview and all of these like interviews or snippets of the interviews that i've seen have been through all true tea because i'll be damned if i follow her fuck that no way <laughs> i'm good i'm good right so and she's been doing multiple interviews talking about the show multiple interviews and through this she's been promoting this binder time stories in which there would be stories about the cast and she would be exposing them because she brought a binder she bought a 99 cent binder from walmart to the reunion to expose people she only used it once and it was against someone who's not even a part of the show and it was stale tea like girl get a life get a life get a life get therapy and get a life like i there's there's nothing more you can say so all true tea released part one I just couldn't believe what I was watching. Like, are you kidding me? Is she serious? And you want people to pay for that? That's what kills me. Is you want people to put their money towards this. And, and you knew better than to not say their names because they would sue your ass for defamation. She's an idiot. Like... Who who is her team? Who are her people? Because they're not her friends. They you can't. You can't be her friend. And you're letting her sit here look and look like a fool. Look like a fool. You spent all this time talking about the show, and now you're making to the point where you have created a YouTube series around it. Girl, seek help. <laughs> like, seek help help please this shit is not cute this isn't cute you're a you are pushing 40 you're a mother of three and as you said at the reunion your husband has a sickening portfolio right potomac was giving you them little checks right like why are you so why are you still on this it's giving you were fired tease that's what it's giving you're so you're too invested for something that you supposedly left of your own free will. 
And I still don't believe to this day that she left of her own free will. She was fired. And Chris probably stepped in and said, look, we're not doing this. So you leave the show or there are going to be some changes in this marriage. I feel like I feel like that's what went down. Like she had these nicknames. It was Weep Weep, which is obviously Candace. Um, um, what was it? Uh, Misery, which was probably Giselle, which is really hilarious, considering Monique. You're probably the most miserable out of everyone in the cast. I just, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> and so I wrote a comment on under the video, essentially what I said here and someone responded, you know, cause I said, basically for all this, she could have been promoting her businesses. Like, don't you sell oils? Hello? And so someone was like, she promotes her businesses all the time. What are you talking about? You could have fooled me. You could have fooled the hell out of me. Are you kidding? You can't tell me this woman promotes her businesses when she is on interviews consistently talking about the show and the castmates. This is the same show that she said tried to destroy her family and rob her of her peace of mind. And yet you're steady talking about it. How does that even make sense? And then people are going to be like, well, she was asked a question. She was asked a question. She should answer the question. Is she a dog? Does she automatically do things on command? If she's asked something, she's just going to respond. She's going to obey. She doesn't have a mind of her own. She can't say no. If you're truly over a previous job that you had and you didn't leave on good terms and you felt like you did what you needed to do and it was done, you wouldn't discuss it in every interview. There's this word called no. And if anyone asks you that question, you could simply say, you know what? I'm at a different point in my life. I'm not really going, I'm not trying to discuss that anymore. Let's move forward. Let's talk about this, that, and the third instead. Let's talk about my businesses because those are booming. But they must not be booming because you're doing a fucking YouTube series based on your former job. <laughs> so that was like, she's a mess. She's really a mess. And I hope that she gets the therapy that she needs. I do. I do. Because she's a trip. Like, you're a liar. You're a narcissist. <laughs> and you're violent. And you thought, you thought it was going to go in your favor. And it didn't. You look like a moron. The same woman you call misery is the same woman you were trying to buddy up with at the beginning of season five. You were trying to break bread with the woman you claimed was a spearhead for rumors against your family. She made you look like a moron on TV. You look like a fucking fool. And she didn't even have to do much. This woman has made it clear to you day one, she does not see it for you. And you still wanted to be her friend. You wanted her acceptance so bad. You dropped. You're the only genuine support you had on that show. Because it, it's a theme with Monique. She seems to fall out of all of her friendships on the show and in real life. Nobody really likes you. That's crazy. And it's a cast of seven women or six women now. And none of them like you. None of them even have the courtesy to get you a birthday gift. Like that is indicative of who you are and your character. I'm serious. 
You're telling me on a show with six women and five of them, because Wendy's new, five of them, you've been working with them for years, for at least two years. And they couldn't get you a birthday gift? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> <sighs> mm. she is one to call somebody misery but i'm over 10 minutes and i really wasn't going to spend a lot of time on that but that was just you know the binder time stories is a joke it's a joke <laughs> and if the blog uploads it and i don't have to i can see that shit for free or at least skim through it for free because that's what I did. I skimmed through it. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna. I don't like hearing her speak. She's not intelligent, so it's just it. It gives me nothing to hear her speak. Um, so <clears throat> if I can skim through it again, hell yeah. But I'm not really gonna. I'm not gonna get on video and talk about it. No way. <laughs> this is like my last video on Monique Samuels wiping my hands clean. Cause that was a that was draining, and I I I can't go back to that. So, yeah, that's just my quick little thoughts. Um, thanks for watching, and catch you guys later.